our financial system is taking advantage of you. I talk to lots of people in deep financial trouble, people with hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loans and they're only making 50 or $60,000 a year, sometimes less. Or the parent whose ex-spouse isn't paying any or, or very much child support and they're barely making ends meet. Or the person, and there are so many of these people who come to me with a heavy weight of credit card debt because they kept using the credit card and didn't realize what it was doing to their future. There are hundreds of other examples of people who have been taken advantage of by other people or our American financial system who are stuck, who are dealing with, with a financial burden that they have a hard time getting out of. People who were kicked while they were down. Look, there are systems and people in this world who will take and take and take from you. Our student loan situation is broken. Our credit system is corrupt and wrong in so many places. We were the land of opportunity and now we're the land of financial indentured servitude. We need to fix these systems. But before we can fix these systems from the top down, we need to fix them from the bottom up, in our own households, in our own communities. We need to take a hand up and then turn around and extend that hand to help somebody else up too. We need to change the world one hand at a time. Transforming our communities starts with you. It starts at home where you take your power back from the corporations and the systems that are working to try to bleed you. There are systems and people in this world that are working so hard to get you to trade your power for comfort and convenience. But you can rise above that. You can take your power back and use it for good. You can recognize these systems and take your power back. They're the student loan system that's putting shackles on my generation and the next generation. They're the visas and MasterCards that charge enormous interest rates on every cup of coffee that you buy. They're the banks that wouldn't recognize your face without their fancy facial recognition software, but will take your house from you if you miss a few payments. There are people in your life who are selfish takers, people who don't pay their child support, people who borrow money and disappear, people who, who try to get you to do something for them and never have your back too. You can take your power back. You can take your power back and use it for good. You can transform your community You can trans if you can transform your household. It's a hard process. It takes a while. It's not overnight. It's hard but it's worthwhile. If you can change your household, you can change the world. You'll have to fight for it though. What fight for power isn't a real fight? You have to fight. You have to fight for yourself. You have to fight for your community. You have to fight for your family, for your loved ones, for all of those people that you want to help. What would it feel like if you could support the single woman down the street who's struggling what would it feel like if you could vote with your wallet and support the small businesses in your community? What would it feel like if your children never had to know what hunger was until they went with you to feed the homeless? What would it feel like if you could get out of this financial indentured servitude and help your community who's also struggling do some good? I've been given a hand. I've been given many hands up, and now I'm extending a hand to you. I have two courses. They go hand in hand. They're free on YouTube. You can do them now if you wanted. No payment necessary. I don't even want your email. One of them is about your mind. Turning your mind around so that you can get out of this. So you can recognize Visa and MasterCard and turn around and kick them out of your life. So that you can forgive those who hurt you. So it doesn't take away from your mind and you can start focusing on the good. You can start focusing on where you're heading, not where you're running from. The first one is all about your mind. The second one is a lot more practical. It's about your money. If you wanna change your money, you have to change your mind first. So you do the mind course and then you go to the money course. How to budget how to take it back, 
not just that you want to, but practically how. What are the real steps to taking back your finances, your financial control? Look, I've been given so many hands. I'm giving you one now. Take it. Get out of this financial servitude. Stop owing people money. Take back your power. Take back your control so that you can turn around and provide a hand up to others. I want you to thrive. I want you to take those shackles off. I want you to leave something to your children or your nephews and nieces or, or whomever. I want you to live freely. Take it back. And if you want to learn more, go to saverstreet.com. Subscribe so you can see more videos like this or subscribe wherever that button is. And take back control of your life. Let's transform our communities starting at home. Yes, we need to fix these systems. Yes, they need to be reformed. They need to be fixed so people can live, so people stop being taken advantage of. Let's focus on what we can control now. Your home, your finances, your life, your mindset. And then we'll reach a handout and we will restructure. We will fix these systems together. Are you with me? Let's do it.